What's up, ladies and gentlemen? Hey, Jonathan, back with another video for you guys. And this video, I mean, in today's video, or in this video, whatever, uh, I'm gonna show you in in a bit detailed um, how to use a HDMI splitter, a cheap one, for bypassing HDCP on PS4, as well as uh, how to record PS3 gameplay through the newer Elgato's or the old Elgato but then you know just through HDMI um, so let's get straight into it now what I what I have here this is a HDMI splitter it's a 1 times 2 so there's like one input as you can see a little bit of focus oh, come on there you go fuck there you go one is the import and the input there are two outputs so what what this means is um, through through your ps3 or whatever you put the HDMI to into here and then one to your Elgato and then through your Elgato um, there needs to be one to your television or monitor so let's do that right now so I have a older Elgato Sorry for the bad lightning, guys. I I'm truly I'm sorry. Um, let me do it like that. So, I got one uh, HDMI uh, game capture HD by Elgato, as you can see, and it is connected to the uh, to my laptop right here. So I cannot unplug this uh, for now. But however, um, we are gonna go ahead and plug everything in place. So. I will leave a uh, link in the description, a Amazon link for you to purchase this. Um, don't go over twenty-five bucks. So twenty-five dollars is actually the max. Um, there are some high-quality ones, but that won't. Uh, if you purchase a let's say twenty-five or higher um, HMI splitters, you won't be able to uh, bypass the HDCP. Now I did that once. Uh, I got like a 25 or to 24 um, dollars uh, HDMI splitter, which did support 60 FPS. Um, and because of, because of that, because of its, uh, I think maybe over 30 FPS or I don't know why, but you know I couldn't. Now for the cheaper HDMI splitters, now remember splitters, not not a switcher. You gotta be careful with that. But yeah, HDMI splitter. Go for the cheap ones. I will link this one. Uh, a Amazon link down in the description box below so you can actually purchase yourself and I will guarantee you that it will work alright so but as you can see it needs a power source alright now this should work yep it's all good so I got the power source over here um, plug that in there we go now it does light up and these will too once you uh, connect them so so HDMI input that means um, you need one HDMI uh, one end of your HDMI needs to go into your into the back of your PS3 or PS4 doesn't really matter and one of them needs to go here um, HDMI input. Oh wait, actually, hold on a second. Uh, HDMI input. PS3. HDMI. Yeah. Okay. So plug one end of your HDMI into um, the input section next to the power source of your HDMI splitter, and then plug it in here. And the other end of that HDMI splitter needs to go into your PS3. So let me do that right now. Okay, so here's the thing that you need to do. Uh, make sure you have three HDMIs. I only have two at this moment uh, because I want to stick with the regular PS3 fucking shit. But, um, so plug in your power source. That's done. Everything will light up, um, kind of. So, and then you need to plug one end of a HDMI uh, at the back of your PS3 
or any other console and then put it uh, next to the power source where it says input HDMI input now plug that in here there you go now that's good then grab another HDMI and then just plug it in HDMI 2 or 1 doesn't really matter which the 2 because why the fuck not that's done now from the HDMI out plug that into your HDMI in of your Elgato I use an Elgato HD that's done and then another HDMI for HDMI out so you can plug that into your uh, television monitor or whatever so that's a recap real quick oh yeah and this light will light up from the HDMI splitter so let's check everything so one HDMI oh whoa, wait sorry one HDMI from the HDMI splitter actually just plug one HDMI into the back of your PS3 now plug that HMI to the HMI splitter. So from your PS3 to the HMI splitter in. And of course make sure it has a power source as well. And then on the HMI out where it has two, plug one HMI into one slot, doesn't really matter. And then plug the other end of the HMI into HMI in of the Elgato and then from the Elgato out put a plug a HDMI from uh, HDMI from the HDMI out to your uh, monitor or television whatever but I, I don't have a HDMI right now so and you don't actually need to because I, I, I have it plugged into my laptop so just to show you now okay so HDMI uh, connected to the PS3 and then at the input of HDMI splitter and the one HDMI out to the Elgato done and then of course for uh, in order to see the gameplay and stuff plug one HDMI out from uh, the Elgato to your uh, television or just have one from here plug that in to your television doesn't really matter but we are all set right now okay now that we are here um, I, I do have a display recorder, but I'm not gonna use that right now because you know, I don't know, maybe I'm just too fucking lazy. But open up your Elgato software, uh, that one, let it load up. <laughs> and it goes here, capture. Now it will say like one moment please, just don't worry, uh, it won't have a signal because everything is turned off. Go to settings, change this to PS4 or Xbox 360, it doesn't really matter but for now I'm just going to do PS4, hopefully that will work. And then HDMI audio, it's all good. And then hit OK, just PS4 has no signal, it's all good. Um, now, what you need to do is, uh, let me think real quick, turn on your PS4, I mean PS3, my bad. Hopefully it will have a signal, and it does. go it will see an HMI is available Hit yes can you see this actually uh, hits yes again let's see okay so for the ones that are really like wondering what the fuck I just did go into your Elgato program sorry for the background noise I know I'm in a hurry so um, open your Elgato whatever that load up please be quick i'm in a hurry oh my god I, I was like rendering this shit but then yeah so i don't have a 
Do I really need to fucking connect this shit? <sighs> okay, plug in the USB, connect your fucking Elgato to your PC and make sure that your PS3, PS4, whatever is turned off. Um, so it's gonna say, okay, so I got the game capture HD. It works for HD Pro, HD 60, HD 60S. Yeah, it works for everything. Go into settings, just change it from PS3 to PS4 or Xbox One or yeah. Just change the console. That's all you need to do. Just change the console. You don't need to check these. You don't need to wave, um, put it at best, allow 60 FPS and stuff like that. It won't allow you 60 FPS because the HDMI splitter doesn't really uh, support that. Uh, that's because, you know, otherwise it won't work. Um, but yeah, so change your console to PS4 or Xbox One or 360. That's it. That's just the thing that you need to change. Now I was playing with a couple settings here, but that was just for me. Like, um, if I did, so if you do, for example, PS4, you have the option HDMI, audio, and whatever. That's it. Uh, Xbox One, HDMI, Xbox 360, HDMI. So yeah, that's that's basically it. You can, I think you can, like, do PS. Oh yeah, you can do PC. It, it will work, I think. But still, just you know, there you go. Yeah, okay, you guys are good. I will say 1080p, 30 FPS. Now you can see here <laughs> that I'm recording with the HDMI, which is really cool. Um, that's kind of sick. Now, now you can actually record PS4 gameplays, uh, PS3 gameplays, everything. CCP protection in PS4 and that's why I actually have this HMI splitter um, for me to bypass the HDCP security or copyright, whatever. Um, but yeah, that is it actually. Now, if there is any other questions um, related or unrelated to today's topic, feel free to just ask me through Twitter or with a comment down below. And I will do my very best to help you out. Now, that's it for today's video, guys. Hopefully I helped you out. If I did, let me know by a like. I'm Shaggy's for you and I'm out. Hopefully I'll catch you on the next one. Peace. Yeah.